Hey guys, how's everybody today? I hope it's a great day. Some of us are eating turkey, some of us are vegans, some of us are doing whatever. Uh, I just hope that everyone is happy today. Um, I'll be honest with you, it's been a difficult day for me. And I'm going to share a little bit why. And I'm going to share ways that you can be powerful. I've talked about before, you know, listening to people. Um, because people want to be heard. And it may go without saying, but, you know, people want to be heard. They, they want to be acknowledged. They want to be recognized. They want to be seen. One of the most powerful ways to destroy someone is to ignore them. And, you know, maybe when it's the Yetzirah, maybe when it's the forces of darkness themselves, maybe that you're supposed to ignore. But, you know, we know from Hazal and we know from so many others, from Rav and so many others that, you know, we all have the divine spark in us. We're part of those holy fractures that need to be regathered. And, you know, fracturing is painful. Today I was somewhere and someone uh, dropped a glass and it shattered and everyone's kind of, oh my goodness, wow, oh, the glass, everyone be careful, uh, you know, keep away, we don't want anyone to get cut. And in a way, that's what's happened. We're those shards of holiness. And if I may use a contrasting thought, uh, like I've said before, we have the power to destroy because we're shards, <laughs> but we have the power to heal. And we're really supposed to be about the healing process. Although I will say that for me personally in this exile, it's very difficult. You know, I am I can acknowledge that I'm a good person. I can acknowledge that I've helped thousands of people. And there are people that I would introduce you to them. And they will call me rabbi. And they will call me teacher. And they will call me, um, use exalted titles for me. And I can accept that on many levels. I really can. Even even with all my deficiencies of... of um, low self-esteem, and, and I have great physical challenges. You know, I recognize that I have a lot that I can use for healing. I can also recognize that the, the, the exile, the physical challenges I have, the low self-esteem, the, the way I was treated in my family growing up that was negative, and the way I'm even treated uh, by... Uh, people in my extended family now uh, can really hinder my ability because of the low self-esteem and other things to to really be a person to to bring light. I really I have to work really hard sometimes. So the main thing I want to say though is that um, we have the power to bring light into situations. And I will tell you that for me personally, and I think this is true for most human beings, the you know, not only listening, but really acknowledging, really receiving the person, you know, when they walk in the room, you say hello, you know, if it's if it's okay, you shake a hand, you know, pat on the back, uh, good to see you. Um because the way of destruction in that is to ignore someone and, and like you just don't even acknowledge that they they're in the room uh, you don't um, you don't uh, yeah you just don't acknowledge them I'm sorry if, uh, I'm having a hard time finding some words so thanks for your patience you don't really acknowledge them you don't say hello it's like they don't even exist and you know We've all maybe been in situations where that happened, where we were that person that was just like invisible. And you think, why am I here? Or I'm wasting my time. And sometimes it's in synagogue. Uh, sometimes it's in your 
your, in your meetings, in your groups, whatever you're doing. And that's when it's really painful. It can be in synagogue. It can be with your, with your, with your family, your extended family. And that's when it's really painful. Um, and that's when it's hardest to not run away. But I, but I want to say that, again, the simplest way is to just, you know, say hello, smile, say, I'm glad you're here. Um, what can we do to make it better for you? And we'd like to hear what's going on with you. You know, these are all very simple things. They're all considered by people to be common courtesies. But you'd be surprised how many times uh, we've all f fallen into the trap of not acknowledging someone or, God forbid, we are also not acknowledged ourselves. So remember the power of acknowledging someone. Remember, like I've said, the power of a smile, the power of hello, the power of nice to see you. The power of, oh, I really do want to hear what you have to say, even if I don't think you have a point. And I think that's also a real challenge. I may not agree with your question. I may not agree with your answer. But I'm going to listen because I realize that you need to say what you have to say. And unless I think it's really going to hurt. And if I think it's going to hurt, then I have to find a way to say, okay, I want to hear you, but I feel like this is going to be.